Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Glock 43X, which is now my new everyday carry pistol. I am very comfortable with it. I'm shooting it very well. And long gone are the SIGs P365, both in the XL model and the regular P365, both of them. Now perhaps it's a topic for a different video, why I got rid of those and replaced it with a 43X. And it is not because I am a Glock, Glock fanboy. This is actually my second Glock in the collection at this time, the other one being the 19X. The 19X has become my best shooting Glock and my favorite Glock. So I find it interesting that the 43X actually has similar, similar geometry to the 19X, just on a scaled down version. But more of that to come in a different video. So on the table today you have not only what is going to become my EDC with a 43X, but I wanted to show you the holster that I'm going to be carrying or the different holsters I'm going to be trying, as well as the trigger update that is coming up. What I want to do also is to thank the companies that you see listed on the table because they took a chance with a very small channel like mine and sent some product in for me to try out. This, these products, uh, I did not pay for them. I wanted you to know that up front, but that is not going to influence in any way why, what I say about them in future videos. I'll give you my honest opinion, and if they like it, great. If they don't like it, then too bad. But starting from the left, we have the holster from Harry's Holster. So I wanted you to take a look at Harry's Holster. And what he sent in was what he call what they call the executive DCC single clip with a claw. The quality seems very good. It's a light holster. All the edges are very nicely rounded and finished. It has the claw here because of appendix. I told him that I carry probably 70% of the time an appendix. And it has a metal clip unlike other holsters that I've tried to have the polymer grip clip, this has a very, very strong, I mean, you really got to put some muscle to open that clip up. And it's got enough adjustments that, gosh, you could probably put it in any position that you want. So this is what Harry sent in from Harry's holster. Now looking at the trigger, and if I can say, that perhaps this is the only complaint that I have so far on the 43X. And again, this gun, like all the guns in the video, have been safety checked prior to it. The 43X, like the other factory Glocks, they have ridges on the trigger, and I can, I can live with that. But the biggest issue that I have with it is the safety dingus right here, that it doesn't fully disappear into the trigger shoe as you, the trigger is pulled. And after shooting it for a while at the range, it just starts to become uncomfortable. And Glock may have the reasons why they continue to do that, but I don't like it. So what I was looking to do was to replace the trigger shoe only. That's the only thing I was looking to replace. And steps in Overwatch triggers and they send me the whole trigger assembly. So this is their pulley dat trigger for the Glock 43, 43X, and 48, sorry about the light. Everything has been very nicely polished. And what I was looking for originally, there it is. It's a flat-ish trigger, but the safety ding is completely disappears into the trigger shoe. So it'll be a nice comfortable trigger pull without that little thing is digging into your finger. So thank you very much Overwatch for providing the trigger to the channel. And then on the right, I have a holster by QVO Tactical. QVO stands for Quick, Violent, and Over. QVO Tactical send this. And this is their Wingman appendix with a sidecar. 
and it has the clock here for appendix carry and just like with Harry's holster it is very well made nice quality kydex all the edges are nice and smooth no sharp edges anywhere I have never used a, an appendix holster that has a side card like this so I have used it a couple of times uh, since he sent it in but this is the first time I try a model like this and we'll see how that goes but thank you QVO for sending that in and they surprised me because they sent two holsters for the 43X now obviously this one doesn't have the sidecar but this one is called they're more more discreet inside the waistband with a claw it is finished with a carbon fiber look they do have polymer clips you can see the difference there between the polymer clip and the metal clip on your left and as you can see here, this holster is pretty low. It's pretty short. In the past, for, this is a holster that I've been using. This is the holster I've been using and is by CYA. And I've had this since I had my Glock 43 quite a while ago. And this little, the, the little claw here, sorry, blanked out for a second, did not come with this holster. This is uh, something that I, cannibalized from another holster and kind of made it fit as you can see not even the screws match but this has been a very comfortable that's been my go-to holster for the Glock 43 and up until now the 43X but you can see the difference in height between the QVO on your left and the CYA on your right so I'll be interesting to see how the new holsters play out but thank you QVO Tactical for sending two holsters for the review. So there you have it guys. This is my new ADC Glock 43. Obviously all in black. Very comfortable. I have medium sized hands and I can get a full grip on the gun which I couldn't do in the P365 and I got this one with the Ameriglow night sights which I love that sight picture and overall I'm very happy with it very comfortable pistol. I shoot it well, especially, you know, I shoot it well for me. Sorry about the focus there. But there it is. Quick look at my new EDC. Once again, I want to thank Harry at Harry's Holsters. I want to thank Roger at QVO Tactical and Overwatch Precision for taking a chance, like I said, with a very small channel and actually sending me some stuff in to review. One thing that hasn't arrived yet, but it's on its way as well, for the 43X are Talon grips. So Talon, again, thank you so much for sending uh, product in for the channel. I did not pay for any of this. Um, just wanted to be full disclosure and let you know. So a follow-up video in the coming weeks will be how is all this working out. The trigger is gonna be installed uh, today or tomorrow and I'll report back to you on how things are going. But here is my new EDC. So thank you very much for sticking until the end. If you like this video, please consider clicking the like and the subscribe button. Also, su support your local gun shops with everything that is going on and the craziness, all these attacks on our rights. Your local gun shops are gonna be the ones that are never gonna turn their back on you. So when you can, and if you can afford it, please support your local gun shops. And until the next one, God bless.